Hey everybody, Cypher Boy here with a new game called Dead City. And this is the start of it. Sam sent you a contact request. Accept. Hello? Is anybody there? Do I know you? I don't think so. Listen, I found a phone with your number on it. It was saved as a favorite. Let's do... Who's phone? I don't know, unfortunately, but you seem to be important to that person. The screen was stained with blood. I really hope that person is fine. Who are you? My name is Sam. You can't imagine how happy I am that you're responding. How is the situation where you are? Are you in safety? Is this a bad joke? What do you mean by joke? Wait. Does that mean the world is not ending at your place? Are you insane? Wow. If everything is still alright at your place, then there's still hope. <clears throat> and I really must sound like a crazy person to you. Uh, let's see, what happened? I don't know how to explain it to you. Without sounding like a complete lunatic. Um... Let's go with, so why don't you tell me already? <clears throat> Sorry. I don't know how it happened. To be precise, I don't even know what happened. The people, they started changing. Wow, this is, this doesn't even come close. What do you mean, changed? They attack people, but only people that are not like them. As normal people, I mean. They are like monsters, highly aggressive, but in the same time extremely dumb. There is nothing human left about them. They are more like... dead. Uh, that sounds terrifying. It is. But that's not even the worst part. Uh, what do you mean? Oh no. Listen, I'm not alone. Someone's with me, Anna, and she's not well. I have to check on her. I'll be back in five minutes. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what the menu... Hmm. I guess it'll be... Five minutes real time. You can see the bar at the bottom going down. The one question is, wouldn't... If the number was in the phone's contacts, wouldn't my character have the number and it'll say who it is? At the moment it says Sam. However, that's the name of the person with the f doing the messaging. I'm gonna pause here and then come back once the bar is almost to the all the way down save some time okay I'm back what about Anna <clears throat> I 
We run directly into these things, but I could escape into an empty house in the last second. And I got hurt, though. Man, I think leaving the bunker was wrong. Okay, first things first. Bunker? Oh, of course. I should think before I type. The military came and brought us away in such a... Well, bunker. Extensive emergency evacuation. It must have been a week or so ago. Or maybe two. I lost all sense of time. It doesn't matter anyway. What is important is that Anna and I escaped. Why did you leave the bunker? That doesn't matter right now. You're still alive. That's the main thing. Describe Anna's condition. That will probably sound completely crazy, but Anna got bitten by these monsters. Before I reached you, she wasn't in such a bad condition. I think she has a fever. I'm beginning to worry about her. Uh, do you have medicine? No, and even if I had, I wouldn't know what could help her. Strictly speaking, I have absolutely nothing with me. Uh, search the house. Yes, that's a good idea. Give me a minute. I'll be back when I find something. So... Another pause real quick. Okay, so I guess that... If you close out the game, it'll give you a notification as if it's a real phone notification. So, as you can see, it's starting to um, go to the end of the little bar thing. Hey, are you there? Yes. It's good that you're there. I was afraid you were gone. You know. So? I only found a bottle of water in the kitchen. When I wanted to give it to Anna, she just pushed it away. I think she's having fever dreams and her wound. It looks like it's spreading somehow. What should I do? Dress the wound. <clears throat> yeah, you're absolutely right. I'm going to find something. A pillowcase or something. Anything. Okay, the dressing is fine. But will it help? She started screaming. She won't stop. The dead, they are just, they're going to hear us. Hold her hand. Yes, I can't just leave her. She would have stayed with me too. It helped. She calmed down and fell asleep again. I'm so happy for you. Thank you again. I'm really exhausted. I heard something. A noise. Something tried to open the door. Maybe a human? Somehow I think so too. The dead have definitely lost this ability, otherwise they would already be in here and we'd be dead as a door now. There it was again. I cannot see the door from here, but I'm sure somebody is trying to get in. Is the door locked? Yes, I tried my best, at least. I put a chair under the doorknob when we arrived. 
Hmm. What to do? Go have a look. Okay, I'm going to the door. It's still holding. But if he goes on like that... Uh, go back to Anna. Yeah, who knows who's outside and what's on his mind. It's safer not to let him in. Going up. Let's see. I'm back with Anna, and... It stopped. Oh man, finally. The noise was pro has probably attracted some of those things. I'm really wondering that. Wondering what? There's a man in front of the window. He's staring at me. Okay, that's bad. He's making wild gestures. They are probably already chasing him. What should I do now? Say quick, get him inside. Yes. Yes, fine. Okay, I'm going to pause and watch a little clip. Make it go faster. I am back. Dad was close. The dead almost got him. He was pretty damn mad at me. Now he's inside the house and is inspecting Anna's wound. Who is he? He didn't say much. He directly stared at Anna and is now looking at her wound. Must be around 20 years old. He wants to talk to me, I'll get in touch with you later. He says she's one of them. I don't know what he's planning to do. He's looking for something in his bag. What is he looking for? Hmm. We're about to find out. Do we skip? No. He shot her. He shot Anna. You have to calm down. Anna. How could that happen? And now he's gone. He just left. And the door, he left it open. The dead. They're coming. You have to run away. I, Anna, oh my god, yes. You're right, I have to get to safety. Another pause? I made it to the neighbor's house. I still can't believe what just happened. It's not your fault. But it feels like it was, and it was absolutely wrong. I don't want to think about it, not now. Why don't we talk a little? Yes, this might help. Tell me of the dead. I don't know much about them. So far I try to keep as far away from them as possible. In the bunker there was only a handful of people who had some vague information about them. But I certainly noticed that they attack people and apparently eat them. On top of that, they look really, really bad. Um, have you already fought them? No, so far, I only ran away. When you ask me, that's the smartest thing to do. Do you want to talk about something else? Hmm. What about your family? My family was not in the bunker. My hometown is too far away. What do you say? Wrong time, wrong place. I hate that saying. Okay, I really need to sleep now. This fatigue is killing me. Just one thing. Uh, are you going to be there when I wake up? Of course. You can't believe how comforting this is to me. Thanks. So, sleep well.
see what happens when I dip. I heard shots really close. Keep calm. Yes, yeah, someone could see me. It's too dangerous. Can dead shoot people? Then there must be other survivors who fled the bunker or who might have never been there in the first place. Whatever, I really should try to sleep if I want to be able to move tomorrow. Mm. Where are you planning to go? Back to my family. If they're still alive. It hurts to write something like that. But since you are fine, there's still hope. I hope you still be there tomorrow. And me too. Let's stop it here. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll get on to a part day two on a different video. So with that being said, I'll see you later. Bye.